Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here, and welcome on into another custom minifigure Monday. And this has been something that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I've had this aside, and then Monkey Kid got revealed, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna wait so I get the set so I can use the lightsaber. And I need to show you guys just how crazy of a figure this could actually wind up being. So first of all, this new hilt here. Let's start with that. Let's, just right off the bat, this new dark gray hilt is from the smallest Monkey Kid set. And that is set number 8006, the White Horse Dragon set. And you can pick that up on stores now. I have a video showing it off with some other characters and other options that you can use that piece for that I released yesterday with Darth Maul, as well as I also have a review of that set if you're interested to see like if it is worth picking it up just for three pieces, which is really the only reason I did it. But yeah, this is this is this is it. So I also attached the axe piece and I hope that I'm not being an idiot and completely blanking on a piece that would look better for that version of Maul. I can't think of a piece. Please tell me there isn't one and that this is the one that works the best. Um, but yeah, let me know uh, what you think of that piece to make it look like the Rebels version. And I guess I should say, this is Darth Maul uh, in his old master outfit from Battlefront. They just added it, but of course it is from Rebels. And I'm going to show you just uh, some different versions of him that you could do with some other pieces. But uh, anyways, that's the lightsaber. I think that's probably what a lot of people are clicking on for to see how that is made and I think that the axe piece works well, um, but I think that there's definitely, maybe there's a better piece out there, but hopefully if LEGO ever did this, that they would do a better version. But here's Maul, and unfortunately I don't have the tattoo arms, but if you are fortunate enough to have them, then throw them on, because that really adds the detail of this figure, and I wish that I did. I genuinely do, um, but I think that this overall looks like a really good mall, even from the front, because you wouldn't, I guess you could see some of the tattoos, but I think it looks cool, and from top to bottom, the top part there is from any mall um, recently. The face print is exclusive to the book as of right now, which I also have a review, which I will link at the end, and uh, that is probably the most rare part for mall. The hood pieces, wild styles, now I haven't done this yet, I've, I've been meaning to, but just take some pit nail polish remover and just get rid of the pink if you want it to just be a black hood. Just be careful when using that. And uh, of course, one of the coolest parts as well, I think, is the legs. And I'll get back to the torso in a second. But the legs are specifically from the Solo Mall from the book as well. And I think that just really adds to this figure. The torso is Kylo Ren's from uh, one of the Force Awakens sets because I don't like the pattern that it has in The Last Jedi or I guess even in The Rise of Skywalker. I can't picture what that torso looks like. But yeah, there's no pattern or anything and I just think that it looks the best for Maul from uh, Rebels. Now I do have an alternate skin option I guess for him. And here is that version, and this is him with like the hood up, and he's kind of got like the the cloth over his his back, and when he first meets Ezra, when he's got his lightsaber in this like staff sort of build, so I think that works really well. And uh, these two pieces at least are from the actual Monkey Kid set, like the staff is included from that, and the axe. I'm not sure where you can get a gunmetal gray one, but. Yeah, I, I think that this just works really well for Maul, and specifically I know a lot of people don't like the hood, but it makes sense here with his horns. But anyways, that's another version of Maul here. Two and one, since I missed out on the last two weeks. So anyways everyone, I hope that you did enjoy this video. I do actually stream Battlefront 2 a lot on the other channel, and uh, I'm going to come back to doing that very soon when they update uh, the final, final, final update for that game with uh, changing up some of the different challenges to get this skin from Maul. But anyways, everyone, I hope you did enjoy this video, and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.